Hello guys, welcome back to another, well another Flash game of, uh, well this time of Lord Warlords, Call to Arms, this is the first Warlords game, made by Ben Olding, it's a very good game, it was probably my favourite Flash game as a small child. And uh, there's a sequel, but today we're just going to be playing this one, and I'm going to start a new campaign. So. The premise of this game is you have a bunch of different characters, or, well, I guess they're not characters, they're more races that fight to the death. So you've got Human Alliance, you've got Night Elves, which are my personal favourite, I'm going to be going with them for this playthrough. You've got Orcs of the North, Wood Elves, Orcs of the South, The Undead, Men of the West, Mountain Trolls, Human Alliance. And that's it. I said New Human Alliance twice. But yeah, you can see each of these races have different stats. You got the Men of the West, for example. Sword uh, wielders will have plus two, and their halberd characters will be weakened with minus two, which is important to remember. So when I'm picking Night Elves, I'm going to make sure I use archery more than I use sword, because sword, as you can see, is minus two, meaning they're weaker. But yeah, um, let's get on with this. It's, uh, it's a very fun game for me personally. So basically, you have this map, and your goal is to take over, well, the entire thing, really. And as I highlight you can't just go for a random place you have to pick one of the closest ones which happen to be the orcs of the north and the men of the west so let's go here as you can see the difficulty in the top right is three percent so it shouldn't be that hard so gameplay is pretty simple you just i can move the arrow keys up and down to you know, to like, and units down, and the uh, space to send out a unit once they've charged, fully charged in the top left corner. I'll, I'll send out. You can also use the arrow keys to select a different swordsman or an archer, or a spearman. I quite like the spearman because they're fast quite brutal um, but the goal is you want to get your units to the other end the other side of the uh, screen which I just to show you up here that purple is me if that purple goes all the way then I'll win It's not hard, the very first stage, it's only 3% difficulty. So obviously, I'm going to win this because I'm just using the absolutely recommended strategy of endless spearmen in one direction. I'm sure that's how real life war goes. There is obviously a timer. This timer, oh that's a... Okay, Mounted Spearmen. We will be able to buy Mounted Spearmen later. Um, this is going to be a bit of a hit. You can release uh, waves like this. Um, I will show you when we get that ability. We can't do it just yet. Um, oh yeah, and each unit has... The, well, each, each race has their own special class. So for the men of the West, they have um, the javelin thrower, which isn't that good in my opinion, because who wants to throw javelins as a weapon? Um, these horses, where? Oh, did you see that red? Okay, this means we have a charge. So I'm going to press Q on spearmen, and boom. You can't rely on that to win. It's not likely to happen. You may get it once or twice per round. They've gotten their second one now. This is starting to get tricky. I might need to 
change my strategy. Up summoning archers. Yeah, this is basically the premise of the game. And it's another free flash game, so I love it. Um, because I don't I'm gonna miss this when it when it really when it is no longer available as of Christmas this year, which is coming up sooner than I'd expected. Um it looks like we may just have to wait for a timeout. As they are actually putting up a good defense for the first We just got a. As you can see, the horse people can speed past and they can just push our spearmen back, which is why I don't like them. So I will go back to the normal strategy of just spamming all the spearmen right in the same lane because nobody can stop an endless march of spearmen. This game is available on Armor Games, in case you're curious, and I do not own it. But it's a very fun one. It, like, like I said in my Run 2 video, it's a simple concept, but it works surprisingly well. And I'm going to need to... I need to try and stop some of these and of the West here, because I am currently winning. I do not want them to win. I'm going to try and hold out a little bit. Because, oh, it's a close match. But we win. We've got more of the bar. Rune is now owned by the Night Elves. So we won that. Well done. And they play this triumphant music. So now each kill gives us money. So we've only got three units at the moment. We could buy a unit or we could upgrade. And I'm going to actually buy a unit if I have the money. No, I don't. I want to get the Whirler because it's, the, it's quite an overpowered unit and it's exclusive to the Night Elves. Um, but we need 1600 gold for him. You can get all of these units. You can't have all of them though because there's limited space so what we will do is we will continue onwards and just back someone else and just continue saving up money oh that's a halberdier okay I don't personally like them I don't think they're worth the money because Yes, they have long reach. When you have archers, what's the point? If you just... I am gathering... all of my archers... together. That's what you want to do. You don't want to send out one archer. Oh, is this going to be a... Is this going to be an, an army of the bow? We're just going to have... Yeah, okay. Well, in this in this situation, we're going to need spearmen. So... Let's wait this out and try and... Oh, they've got axemen. Axemen are quite useful because they're fast and tough. I will admit there's quite a bit of <laughs> a bit of nostalgia is the main reason I love this, but it's also just fun. You you just can completely destroy the other team sometimes, and it's what got me interested in weapons in general. I sound like a freak, but it's more just how humans evolved to do war and then formations that they tried. It made, really made me think about what humans are capable of and how we could 
pretty much change the world if we want to. We think about some of the you know, the richest people, they could like end world hunger with their money. If we won that, and this is where it gets good, I've now got the money for the whirlers, and they are, oh, they're fun. They, some units will have a longer charge that so will take longer for them to uh, be released. So the whirler, I'm having to wait longer. But you will see why he is worth the money and worth the wait. So you just watch him decimate those two swordsmen. Look, he just eliminated five enemies before he died. I'm, and he also pushes them back. So I'm just thinking, why don't I try and just send one whirler out for each lane? That seems to be working so far. Now, th these are the Orcs of the North. Their unique character is the Battle Axeman, which, in my opinion, is actually really terrible because it's similar to the Halberd, um, except you just have a bit more damage, but I'll show you their weakness. It's just archers, just lots of archers. You just keep using archers and you will win. I like to send out five archers. Oh, okay, so we've got... This is the best thing about the queue. Like, lane attack, charge, is you can send out any unit you want. So now I've got a bunch of flailers, which so very useful. Not flailers, whirlers. Flailer is the undead special character. If you really want to see the sequel, let me know. The sequel does look prettier. Um, I personally prefer this, even though it's inferior because it's just got less units and less classes and content, really. It's quite short. You could probably complete this if you knew what you were doing. You could beat it in roughly three hours, I want to say. But that's quite a lot of money for a well, for a flash game, a lot, a lot worth your time. And they're sending out archers. Well, I'm going to send out archers. Well, one before I send out my charge. As you can see, we're just with the whirler. You can just get one or two of them through quite easily, and you don't have to worry too much about managing your other units because it's quite hard to stop them. You, what you need is range. That's your. That's the whirler's weakness. So if I, if you see me sending an enemy out that isn't uh, a whirler, and that's because they have more range. I have eight hundred and seventy-nine. What do I want to do? I could get. Could get the axeman actually. You know what? I'm not going to do that. I am going to give myself some armor. Do we go for the last man of the world? I'm not sure already. We've got to go for the Orcs of the South again. I need to train up. You don't want to completely get rid of one race first, but you want to go for difficulty so that you can get enough money and so you can have a stronger army because the goal is to fight the demons and the demons have a unit called a Spearmaster. And how that's different from a Spearman is basically they actually have common sense and they're very tough to beat and I've yet to beat the game because I just haven't had time. I'm distracted with other games or other life things that are more important than sitting at home at 4am playing games.
I'd be happy to do try out another race if you want to. My second favorite is probably the Wood Elves because they have a ranger. Um, I've always liked elves in pretty much any form of media, really, because they're just, just cool, aren't they? Now, Warlords 2 Rise of Demons, sequel to this game, is available on on Android, but I don't have an Android phone, so I'm not going to be able to play that after December. Um, that's kind of the main reason I'm doing these Flash games first, is because well, I have some form of human memory of what the past was like. And these enemies are not very tough at the moment. Then again, I have played this game before. Um, I think we will buy spear training. And yeah, the goal is to conquer all of this. Um, these are the demons. I'm going to watch out for them because I don't want to fight them just yet. They're tricky. But yeah, that is Warlords, and it is a very good game. You can obviously do two-player, there's options for turning the sound off. I hope I wasn't too quiet in this one, trying to gain more my voice over the in-game audio, but unfortunately I love the music, but you can only have it off or on. You can't turn it down. But anyways... My lovely people, that is the end of this episode of Warlords Court Arms. I will see you all later. Au revoir.